New developments in the case against three of the four teenagers accused of carjacking and killing Linda Fricky. The trial is supposed to begin a week from today, but there's a chance it may be just one suspect in court. WGN's Jordan Lippincott joins us now with details. Jordan. That's right, Kurt and LBJ. During a pretrial hearing today, the judge denied a joint motion for continuance as both the prosecutors and defense attorneys said they needed more time for the fingerprint analysis, which along with DNA evidence, prosecutors say ties at least two of the suspects to the murder of Linda Fricky. During a pretrial hearing Monday in the case of the three teenagers charged with second degree murder in the death of 73 year old Linda Fricky, the judge ruled she will be excluding both the fingerprint analysis and DNA evidence, saying both prosecutors and defense attorneys didn't act fast enough and that she didn't want to delay the trial. Both sides plan to appeal her decision. We also we want to be able to keep all the evidence that was collected, all the DNA evidence to go to trial with. That way, as they say, you know, cross your T's, dot your I's. But if the appeals court overrules the judge, that means the trial of two of the teenagers, John Honore and Bernaya Baker, would be delayed, which is conflicting for Fricky's family. We would like to be able to stay with the original trial date. Like I said, it's been a long year and we would like to see it come to an end. The judge said her ruling doesn't affect the trial of 16-year-old Markel Curtis, so that trial is still scheduled for April 3rd. I still feel strong, okay? The DNA, as I said, would be a building block to get in, but no matter one, two, three trials, we're going to be at every trial. The appeal must be filed by the 30th, and soon after that, we will find out how many of the teens will go on trial starting next Monday. Kurt, LBJ. All that that family has been through. Thank you, Jordan.